And if we can sneak up on him and assassinate him... No, that's the wrong game, isn't it? Hold it. That's close enough, army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Okay, so you have the Paragon option, the Renegade option. Paragon option, obviously, uh, you try to arrest him and then you kind of fight him. And then Renegade option, I believe you kill him. And you have the middle option, sure. We're going to go with sure because that's what we've been asked to do. We've been asked to let him go. Not to kill him, not to arrest him, to let him go so, so that Chellet can track the mods. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. And I guess in the bigger picture, that is what is truly the Paragon option, that middle one. It helps if you know what you're doing, I guess. Not blindly clicking uh, either the top left or top right, which you believe to be the Paragon. Because sometimes that can not be it. Alright, uh... Bugger. Where... There it is. We want C-Sec, don't we? Okay, so we are going up. Talk to... Yes, we are talking to Chalik, just in case. I thought for a split second we might have had to go back to talk to Rita or something like that, but no. Every time I come here, he's coming out of that office. Weird. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellick. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. This voice changed a little bit. Ooh, Paragon plus eight and inventory. But the mods we just got. Shred arounds, really? No thanks. I'd rather sell it. In fact, I might even sell it. Um, I want to take a quick look at Paragon. Ooh, we are almost into that next bar. That's good. Awesome stuff. Now we go talk to Rita, I believe. And we will be done and over with it. We should have a lot of money now, actually, now that I think about it. So I might take another visit to uh, the dock, see if I can afford that uh, interface now. I don't think I can, but it's just a quick check. Um, flux. Oh, guy getting thrown out. Oof. It's a bit harsh. He's already getting thrown out. You don't need to hit him over the head. Damn. He seems to handle it pretty well, though. What's up, Shells? Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Surely that's still illegal, selling that. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Right. I wonder if I can 
talk to the Volus about that. We'll talk to Rita first. There's no need to go down to Cora's den because, um, uh, what's her name's already cleared out of there. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. But you guys are like twins. I don't know, if you're not if she's doing something you're not, then it's clearly to do with personality, in which case it's your own fault. Oh look, it's Jenna. Hey there, welcome to Flex. Does she you don't recognize us. Anyway, where's that? Doran, yo, what's up? Come on, faster, Shepard. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Oh, never mind. I thought you Bye. could talk to him about the cheating... Enjoy your time cheating McCheaterson. I think you may need to get the uh, device off of him and then give it to... Er, uh, what's his name? Doran. So, get device off the shelves. Ah, change your mind? You gonna help me record those wins? Can you do that? It's a okay, just we've need been a few over more this. wins recorded. I'll help you out. Huh. Of course. Well, off you go. That data won't collect soon. And now we go talk to Doran. As you can see, we didn't get a renegade, so there's no problem with it. Hey, Doran. Hello again. Can I help you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. You really? I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Or do I just get the 4,000 and that's what you mean by on the house? Uh, no thanks. I will keep my money to myself. And spend it on something else. Which will be more useful to me on the field. Now I believe we can talk to him and tell him he's busted. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Heh, <laughs> about it. About that. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't find that humorous, but I do. Anyway, we're going to go to the markets, med clinic, just to quickly check up, and then we'll head back to the Normandy and go over to... Novaria. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Ah, uh, I'm still poor. I'm still very, very poor. Oh, well, I can sell some stuff first. Ooh, that was worth quite a lot. Nice. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Get back to Normandy. Get the hell to Novaria. Although, honestly, I'm not in that much of a hurry to get to Novaria. That's where we have to deal with, uh, Benezia. Ooh, nope. Wrong one. There we go. We want to go to CSEC. It is kind of a hassle having to travel to CSEC every time you want to go to the docking bay. Why can't you just have fast transport to the docking bay? Yeah, just... That tiny bit of convenience, you know? Little things make a game. Little things. Okay, big things make in a game, too. In of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. So if you remember uh, Nirali Bhatia and uh, Mr. Bhatia earlier on in the story, we helped recover the, the 
guy's wife's body and uh well you heard she wanted to open a restaurant he actually does open a restaurant in her honor uh later on and as i remember um alliance soldiers get to eat for free Stand by which is kind of cool to know you know Decontamination in progress. well i thought it was pretty cool pretty sweet like what better way to honor uh your fallen wife in progress. i suppose Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Alright, so as I believe, there is really nothing to do on this ship. Unlike in Mass Effect 2, where you go around talking to everybody, getting upgrades from everybody, and whatnot. So the current plan, as it stands, is to head over to Novaria. And then, fingers crossed, after Novaria, we'll have enough uh, Paragon to head over to Vermeer over there. And in Novaria, guess who we get to meet? Matriarch Benezia, who will be a big pain in the ass to beat. Okay, maybe not a big pain in the ass. Maybe not even a pain in the ass at all. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. It's more like an annoyance because you have to deal with a bunch of Asari commandos all coming at you at once. You can't even focus on uh, Bedezia, really. Yeah, I'd say with more like annoyance, like loads of flies bothering you. Anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna bother reading that. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Oh, it must be nice. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> it must be nice just using the Spectre card. I'm a Spectre. Give me all your money. And there we go. So, welcome to Navaria. It's a lovely place. Yes, ah, Commander. Damn it, I didn't want to talk to you. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Okay, now I'm lost. That way. A uh, lovely place full of nice, happy people who will do anything to help you out. Can you pick up the sarcasm in my voice? I hope so. I hope it was going off well enough. Um, we're going to stick with the usual crew this time. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I'm glad that I'll actually be able to test out this new armor pretty quickly. Anyway, um, if we don't get enough Paragon, well, not a level of Paragon that I'm comfortable with, I'm afraid we are going to have to hunt down some side missions, rather regrettably. I'd hate to do it, but... Gonna have to. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. Uh, Garrus, of course he'd know about Citadel Authority. Stand down. Their house, their rules. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Even if you did take away my weapons, I've got, okay, wait, I think I have biotics if I remember correctly. Yeah, I have a little bit of biotics. Oop, put your weapon away, don't want to start an incident. And we've got somebody who can deal out tech damage and somebody who can deal out more uh, biotic damage. Don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. 
You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an sorry lawyer to see the case through. I don't see the significance in that, really. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level. Why did I bother left asking that? I know exactly where he is. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Okay. Um, yeah. I know where I'm going, so I just wasted your time by asking where the hell are we going. Welcome Unfortunately, there are quite a few the galaxy's lifts most here. Respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety, and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Thank you. I never believe a person when they say enjoy your stay. Actually, it depends on the tone. Anyway, we can talk to this merchant who has a this task for us. This one greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I'm supposed to uphold the law, not break it. This one understands. The offer shall remain open. It truly needs the help. All right, so the I'll be leaving now. So that's important um, for if you're going to go for a renegade option. Actually, eh. renegade or lazy option. Kind of more lazy than renegade in my opinion. We're going to head over to see Analeas, who's just down here. And uh, basically you can procure that package uh, from the Hanar and submit it in trade for a pass. Basically you're selling out the Hanar, which I don't want to do. That's really mean. Poor guy. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Now, Analeas, Ooh. if this was me in the game, I would punch him. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? 
They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. I have no more questions at this time. Garrus Good. does have a point. A uh, somebody else here will help us. We talked to the one who greeted us. This one. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. <laughs> You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Oh, just watch me. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Why, thank you. Talk to you later. Very well. Now, rather unfortunately, just like the start of um, our mission on Pharos, we have to talk to a lot of people, a lot of running around, a lot of doing things. Although, to be fair, on Ferris, I kind of bypassed a lot of the talking. I just went and did whatever it is, or whatever it was, rather, that they required. Uh, the bar is up there. There's actually two entrances, exits, lifts, places to go. Uh, one down there on the left and one up there on the right. Up there is the bar, which is where we're going, but... Uh, this wouldn't be the start of a mission without backtracking because we're going to be going down there pretty much immediately after. Fun stuff. And a lot of lifts, actually. I don't know why they couldn't have just had the whole level as one, put some stairs in, or, you know, put faster lifts in. And I'm sort of waiting for the news story to pop up, but it's not. Huh, weird. Yes, it's annoying that we have to take a lift and a loading screen to get here considering how small this room is and how little time we spend in here. But before we talk to him, Excuse we me. talk to you. I need a moment of the male human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. But we already know why the, the Asari commandos are here. Why can't we just tell her? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Not worth it. Goodbye. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Well, hey, plus eight Paragon, that's why I did that. Which means we're even further along. Let's take a quick look because I am going to be constantly checking that Paragon meter until it is high enough. Hello, Lorik Keen. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. 
You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If I have to kill the guards, I'm afraid I can't help you. There's still the law around here. True enough. Though I hasten to point out that Ms. Matsuo disapproves of outside contracting. If you change your mind, I will remain here. I see no other options at present. Wait. Did I just say no to him? No, I want to say yes. Back again. But what can this old I've been thinking over your difficulties with Annalise. Indeed. So if I help you, you'll help me. Yes. You need to get into the garage. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. I do. Okay, Via we need to skip over this because we... Paying them under the table. There we go. We Ms. use Matsuo this option. Aware of their outside I'll employment. focus on trying to get your evidence, if I'm lucky. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you?